We are going to go over some of your high frequency words from the story that you are reading this week. So high frequency words are those words that you will see repeated in lots of different stories and different texts that you'll read. We're going to use our consonant chart in our vowel valley to help us with the initial sounds of the words. So we're gonna start first with your stop that is p. Go ahead and repeat that, say p. This word is put, say put. Put has a heart by it. This is a heart word, which means it's a tricky word because you see the U and you wanna go uh for a short U sound, but it's not. The vowel sound is uh. You need to say put. Now we're gonna move down to a nasal, which uses the airflow through your nose. So say n. Mm. Your tongue goes behind your teeth. N. Mm. This word is new. EW can say ooh. Then you have the word now. Say now. Okay, moving down this row, it's your fricatives, which is the air that's flowing through your mouth and it goes through your teeth, your lips, your tongue. So those get impacted. Go ahead and say th. Now say find. Again, this word can be a little tricky, so I put a heart by it. You have to memorize this by heart. It's not a short I sound. Find has that long I sound in it, so that can be tricky. And then you have the word from. Again, this is a tricky word because the O normally says ah, and in the word from, it says uh. So make sure that when you see those words, you say find and from. Then we're gonna move over to our voice TH digraph. Put your tongue under your teeth and turn on your voice box. Say, mm. the first word is the, say the. This has a heart by it because the E is making the uh sound. Then you have there, repeat that, say there. Another tricky word because of the air sound and we're using an E-R-E -E spelling for that. Okay, now we move over to s say saw, s -aw, saw. And then you have your, the H, your throat is open. And so the airflow starts at the back of your throat. Say has, say he, say his. Notice both has and his have that voiced S sound. So it sounds like a Z. Now we go down to what's called our glides and we have our woo. Okay, so the first word say was. This is a heart word because the A sounds like an uh and the S is voiced as in Z. Woo, uh, Z. Say was. Say went. Say with. This one, notice I put this at the top because this is very tricky. Okay, this is another heart word. The first sound is woo, but the letter is an O. This is the number one. And so you can see why this would be tricky. The sound is a woo. The letter is the O, and so we spell one O. N E. So this is definitely one of those words that you have to memorize by heart. Now we're going to look at our vowels. You have vowel valley. And so at the top circled is just your schwa sound. The schwa sound is used in multisyllabic words. So words that have more than one syllable and it can sound like an I or an a. Uh. So say the word away. Notice how that first sound is a. Uh. So that is your schwa sound, a uh, way. So you're gonna see this in your story and it starts with an A, but the sound that you need to start with is a. Uh. Then we're gonna move down to the V part of Vowel Valley and say ah. This word is after, two syllables. So af, ter. Okay, go ahead and repeat it one more time. Say after. And then we're gonna go up the right side of the V and you're gonna say uh, and you have a word of, of, actually should have a heart by it, I forgot that. 
uh, v. So both of those sounds are tricky. You have to memorize that word by heart. And now say other, uh, th, er. So both these should have hearts. These can be tricky words, other. So go ahead if you want and watch this video again to see if you can read these words quickly when you see them pop up on the screen.